plop your laptop down. Uh, they have hard wires so you can plug it in that way or you can use the Wi-Fi, it's up to you. But basically, when you're a writer and you come here, you have one task, write a story. And usually it's up to you what story you want to write. So when I tell the kids, when they come in on school field trips, I said, does your teacher ever give you a writing assignment? They go, yeah. I said, so they give you a prompt? And they say, yeah. And they said, they're given a topic and they're told to write. And they have a certain amount of time. Well, when these writers come in, they're not given a prompt. They have to write it themselves. They pick the story they want. And then they start writing. And then, you know, they're watching the game. And usually these are up. They're usually hooked on to these things so that you get a feel for the outside, right? So you're not separating. So they have basically three hours to write their story. Because when the game ends, they probably have to submit their story pretty quickly thereafter. And, it, and I tell the kids, I says, yeah, they have three hours to write, but nobody tells them what to write. They have to write it on their own. They're like, oh. And then I said, yeah, they could be writing a story and then something happens during the game. Like, uh, you know, there's this tremendous triple play that happens, you know? Then all of a sudden they change their whole story. So I want to write about this instead. And the kids go, really? I said, yeah. And so in here, you notice everybody's sitting elbow to elbow and everything? It's because it's quiet in here. Nobody's talking. Dave Fleming's not announcing, all right? Crook and Kite aren't yelling at each other. <laughs> <laughs> because all the noise is upstairs. Down here, these guys are sitting and concentrating. So when you come in here, most of the people would not be wearing anything that has a Giants logo or any team logo, right? You come in here and you're supposed to be kind of neutral. Even if someone hits a grand slam, the guys in here don't go, ah. <laughs> yeah. They're professionals. They have a story, they have the key to it. Pretty cool. Hey, you remember when we were outside and we were looking at the top and we saw the, saw the body of water? Good view, right? What if I told you that this was not the original position that they wanted the ballpark? Hmm. They made a mistake with candlestick. No one ever thought about looking at the wind and how that played into the ballpark. When they built this one, or started building, they thought about it and said, hey, we better have people look at this. So they had wind experts at UC Davis look at the design and say, if we built it like this, would this work? And it came back and they said, no, it would be cold, if not colder than candlestick, which is not good to hear. The original position had home plate out by the yellow foul pole on the right side, and you'd be looking at the San Francisco skyline. So now they said, what's the best way to do it? They said, turn it this way. And then you're looking at the water, and it's like, wow. <laughs> what do you think? In the park home run? <laughs> triple. He's got at least a triple. No, nope, he's slowing down. I think I would have made it to first base and stopped. I would have retired. <laughs> I think I would have retired. So with these fantasy camps, um, they have some of the, the former uh, ball players out here, and they, you know, they give their time, and you know, they help contribute. One time I was, they had a camp out here and I was doing a tour like with you guys. And I walked by and Vita Blue. Do you remember Vita Blue? He is a pitcher for the Giants a while ago. He came and he came over to the to the uh, group and said hi to everybody, which I thought was really cool, right? So then I'll have another tour in the afternoon. So I came back and you know, when we left, I said, thank you, Vita. Second tour, I brought him back and Vita's still out there. He, he comes over and says hi again, right? He goes, don't go anywhere. Okay. So he walks back, goes, leans over, gets, grabs a bucket, and there's baseballs in there. Grabs two baseballs, comes over, and gives it to the two kids that are in my tour. And I looked at him, I said, Vita, you made their day. Thank, thank you very much. He looked at me, looked at my name tag, goes, not a problem. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> He's got the ball. He knew my name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice? Okay. Are you ready to head out? Because we're going to conclude the tour. But before we conclude the tour, we have bathrooms up here. Okay? 
you need to use the restroom? I say use the restroom because this is San Francisco and there are no clean bathrooms out there. I will follow your advice. Yeah. That's, that's Victor the teacher. <laughs> Victor the tour guide. <laughs> and Victor the native San Franciscan. <laughs> Or you could use the public toilets that they that the other people use. But by public, we mean like